The Sudan has been embroiled in conflict since the uh, mid-1950s. Um, and there's been a series of different upsurges and instability in different parts of the country. The main one has been the conflict between the North and the South. To the outside world, the Sudan Civil War has been described largely in religious and ethnic terms, a Muslim and Arab North versus a non-Muslim and non-Arab South. However, the conflict is more than that. It has also been a fight over Sudan's natural resources, like water, timber, and grazing land including oil discovered in the south and west of the country. Twenty-two long years of fighting finally came to an end in 2005, when the Khartoum government signed a peace accord with the Sudan People's Liberation Movement of the South, effectively ending the conflict. Soon after peace was established, the Sudan Ministry of Environment and Physical Development teamed up with the United Nations Environmental Program and together they initiated a series of field trips to rapidly assess the health of Sudan's environment. Mamoun is the director for the environment and he will uh, be accompanying us to uh, the mission. So this is our man who has all the local knowledge. <laughs> The purpose of this particular mission is to come up with an environmental snapshot of the key issues in the immediate post-conflict period. It will be one of seven field missions that will be used to um, pull together a post-conflict environmental assessment report for Sudan. Consulting with Sudan's State Minister for the Environment, Ms. Teresa Iro, and Under Secretary Dr. El Fadil Ali Adam, the team finalized that they would be assessing ongoing environmental issues, like deforestation and sand dune encroachment, as well as environmental damage caused directly by the recent north-south conflict. Thank you once again. I mean, that would be possible without fear. Have a nice day. Wish you all the best. Take care. The mission plan was to head south from Khartoum, west to El Obeid, and then south again into the Nuba Mountains, which was a heavy combat zone during the Civil War. It was in the Nuba Mountains the team expected to find the most environmental war damage.